Hi everyone, I'm going to start out today's vlog packing some things. I am getting ready to go on a trip with my sister and then our family on our dad's side. We're going to meet up in DC and then spend a day in DC and then drive up to Atlantic City. And we're going to be staying at two different casino hotels. So we're really excited about it. We're gonna have just so much fun. I just picked up Allie from the airport. She flew in from Florida and I just want to go pick her up. We're surprising our dad because it's Father's Day. Holding Wilma because she just goes bonkers when I'm not giving her attention. But yeah, she was supposed to come in tomorrow. We were just gonna meet up at the airport and then fly to DC together. But her flight for tomorrow got canceled for some reason and she was able to switch her flight to be this morning. So I picked her up from the airport. She's showering right now. And then we're gonna go over to my parents' house. We're gonna go eat lunch. I think we're gonna get Korean barbecue, which I'm super excited for. By the way, before I get further into the video, this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. I've loved working with Ana Luisa these past few months. They've been such an amazing company to work for. And I'm obsessed with like all of the Ana Luisa pieces that I own. I will be showing you guys more pieces a bit later, but definitely check out the links in the description bar. You will get 10% off your purchase if you shop through the link. But I will definitely show you guys more of my Ana Luisa pieces a bit later on so I can show you guys like what I'm packing and stuff but yeah the necklace that I'm wearing is from Annalisa how gorgeous is it I love it with this top too it's so cute so we're gonna be gone for five days our trip is Monday through Friday and this is what I have so far I've kind of just been taking like bits of my laundry from you know when I'm doing washes and throwing things on top of this suitcase that I might possibly want to bring. So I have some like jean shorts that I just got from Poshmark. They're a little big on me, but they're really comfortable. So I think I will probably pack those. I have some jeans that I got a really long time ago, some Levi's from Goodwill that I'm definitely going to pack. Those are super comfortable. This was a little GWP uh, from Ulta if you bought sun care so it's like a little bag towel it like folds out to be a towel and if I have room I will definitely pack this because I think it'll be nice I'm sure that the hotel will have a pool I also have some masks that I just washed and I stuck in the suitcase because I will definitely bring masks I think I might bring this little tank top it just kind of depends on what I have the room for and I think I will have room for honestly all of my things because once I get to like folding everything, it'll make so much more room. I have this cute romper that could be like an outfit for like one whole day. You know what I mean? I'm trying to pack kind of light. I want to stick to just having this suitcase and then just a purse. Usually I pack like a suitcase and a backpack, but the reason why I'm trying to pack a little bit lighter this time is because we are driving from DC to Atlantic City and I don't want to be the person that can't fit all their things in the car. Like I don't want to be that person. But yeah, I have a little TNA t-shirt in here that could like pair well with my jeans. I have a little black tube top, a cute little brown tank. I need to make sure that I'm getting my like sleeping clothes in here. Also in this little pouch, let me see if I can get them open, but it has all my little face halos in here, little um, reusable cotton rounds, and then also I put a tiny little laundry bag in there so I can put my dirty ones in a separate little container. And then obviously I don't have my makeup or skincare or anything in here yet. We'll see what I'm able to get in here. I'm really hoping that I'm able to fit everything that I need for the next five days in the suitcase and then just bring my little brown bag. Another really cute tank top that I'm bringing that I recently got on ThreadUp is this like little collared purpley cuteness. I really like the rolling method for any packing that I do, even if I'm packing in like a backpack. I really like the rolling method. I'm going to try and stick my like cute shirts over here that I plan on wearing like during the day and even though I'm trying to pack lightly I do also like to have options like you know if I plan on switching my outfit from like morning to night or whatever I do like to have options but I'm still going to try and pack really lightly which is easier to do in the summertime because all of your pieces are usually like a bit smaller you're not packing like really chunky coats or anything like this tube top is really tiny yeah i'm gonna pack this just for some options also like if al wanted to borrow anything 
Um, I love my TNA tops. I'm just bringing one. I haven't tried on this romper yet. It's from Princess Polly, but I recently got it. Did I get it on Poshmark or Depop? I got it on one of those two. And I haven't tried it on yet, but I'm kind of assuming it'll fit me. It's my size and it looks like it'll fit me. And this would be good for either like a little beach cover up or like an outfit. I have a pair of leggings that I've already rolled up because I do like fold my actual laundry like that for my drawers. And I'm going to put, I might put my athletic wear in one of these two things and then put my shoes in one of them. I think that's what I'll probably do. Fabletics brown leggings, which I actually love. I hate, like when I tell you I hate athletic leggings, I really hate them. I find them to be so uncomfortable. I find them to be really itchy, really, really tight. But for some reason, the Fabletics legging material, like, and I've had other Fabletics leggings and I've had to give them away because they are just so uncomfortable. But whatever material the brown leggings are from Fabletics, ooh, so good. And then I do like their biker shorts, but like, that's just different. So usually when I fly, I do like to wear like my heaviest, biggest items. So I'm kind of thinking that these jeans will be a part of my airport outfit. So I'm going to put these jeans aside for right now and I'm going to roll up my Zara shorts. Yeah, these are just a little bit too big and I kind of wish I got a different size, but I've been kind of struggling like with my sizes recently because I've committed to or have been trying to commit to not buying new clothing just because like this planet has so many clothes already and um i know that like anything that i need i can buy pre-owned but it kind of is difficult because i'm doing a lot of pre-owned shopping online right now and i can't try any of it on so yeah, I've gotten stuck, honestly, with like a lot of pieces that just don't fit me. If we go out for like a fancy thing, I am going to pack this jumpsuit. It's really gorgeous. It's like a red Wilfred from Aritzia jumpsuit that I got on ThreadUp. I'm also going to pack this tiny little tank top just in case I need a tank top for any reason. I'll also go ahead and pack this one. I also need to get all my underwear and like bras together too. These are my thinnest pair of sweatpants that I have, which is fine because it's summertime. It's going to be, you know, hot and I won't need to worry about like trying to stay warm too much. Um, but I do like to wear sweatpants like to bed. So we'll see about that. I also have some sweat shorts that I'll wear to bed. Also, while I travel, I don't pack like the exact amount of pajamas that I need for each night. I will definitely try and rewear my pajamas just to not have to pack like gross t-shirts and stuff. I might take out the sweatpants and swap them for two just shorts, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to set my shorts aside and think on it. Um, but this is all the packing that I'm gonna get to do right now. I'm going to leave in like just a few minutes to go back to my parents' house with my sister and then we're gonna go out for lunch and I'll show you guys what we end up eating. I just got back from my parents' house not too long ago where I didn't vlog at all. I didn't even vlog our food, which I said I would, but I'll insert a picture or something. Um, but I came home with a couple of denim pieces that I left there and this denim skirt being one of them. I never wear denim skirts. I've, you know, not really a skirt person overall, um, but I guess I would like to try to be so that I can, you know, um, expand my wardrobe. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna take this skirt on the trip, actually. So these are my shorts from One Mile. Um, this brand is owned by a YouTuber. Her name is Sammy Robinson, and it's like a little pricey, but I wanted to pick up some pieces when she launched her brand. I just tried them on. They fit really well like all around everything except for my waist like look at how i just wish the waist was like had a little bit more room it's not giving me any room to do much of anything but it's kind of sucks because it fits everywhere else it would look like really good with a shirt like this here you go it would look really good with a shirt like this you know no problems but honestly it's kind of uncomfortable Hmm. 
Last shorts I brought back from home are these American Apparel shorts. These are staples, I find. Um, I do kind of think I might want to size up in these just because I have been working out, growing this booty, but, you know, other than that, I do think I want to size up, but I think that these fit fine for, like, right now, and I don't have the same, like, waist problem. If I bring these, and I won't bring the Zara shorts. I just have to decide because the Zara shorts, I'll go ahead and try those on for you. They're really, really big. So these are the Zara shorts that I've been talking about. They are just really, really big. Um, there is like quite a bit of room in the waistline, which makes the shorts obviously a bit more comfortable, but then it's like quite baggy in the front. Um, and then it's like, you know, not like the, not very flattering at all in the back area, but you know, I don't need all my clothes to be really flattering. These are really comfortable. Um, I probably wouldn't wear them with a top like this. This screams like granny outfit, but I probably would wear with like a bikini top, like if I'm gonna wear these to the beach, or I could see like wearing it with like, you know, a little tank top moment like that, or with a bodysuit. Definitely like ha would have to do like a form-fitting top up top and then with these loose shorts. So yeah, I'm between the American Apparel shorts and these ones, we'll have to see. I went ahead and moved this operation into my office because I know I'm gonna wake up really early to like finish packing up tomorrow and I don't wanna wake up Justin. But I just remembered that for my birthday, which was back in November, um, Justin's parents got me away like, uh, what, oh my gosh, what are these called? Packing cubes. Um, and yeah, I totally forgot that I could use these in the suitcase. They also got me this really nice away bag, but I'm not taking it with me on the trip just because I feel like both of these, it's just too much. But I might change my mind because honestly, looking at that bag now, let me show you guys. My room is a real big mess, so ignore. Um, but yeah, the bag has a little attachment on the back of it, which is like normal for, you know, luggage bags. I don't travel that often, so this is fun to me. Um, but like, so easy. Should I? Should I pack this whole additional bag? Oh my god. Okay, so I am really excited to put my packing cubes in my suitcase. I ended up doing all of this last night, so I took everything out that I put in the suitcase yesterday. These are where all my pajamas are, so I have my pajama shorts and then also some t-shirts. I want to fit one more t-shirt in there as well. And then I have my jean shorts here, my skirt, and then also those two, like the jumpsuit and the romper. And then in here, I packed what was this? Oh, a little beach cover-up romper, my two bathing suits, I have some masks, and then I have my resistance bands here. Okay, packing cubes are just a different kind of packing elite. Like, uh, this is so nice and like beautiful and so organized. If anyone at TSA wants to try to mess with me, I can just open up my suitcase and be like, look, look through it, put everything back the way it was. Oh my goodness, I feel like I can even fit more clothes in here. I might try and get a couple, like two more cute little tops to put in my top one. Um, but yeah, this is like perfect. Okay, so I'm really close to being finished. I think this for the most part is all that I'm packing. I'm still deciding if I wanna pack this other pair of jeans. I think I might if I do have room and I think I will. I'm really excited. These packing cubes really made a difference. But I'm going to start by showing you guys what else I am packing and taking with me, starting with the bag that I'm taking for the whole trip. This is going to be my purse that I take everywhere. Um, so first, I'm keeping my Ana Luisa jewelry in here. I'm going to show you guys the pieces that I'm bringing. Again, this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. Thank you guys so much. They sent me three necklaces this time, the first necklace being the one that you guys saw in the beginning of the video, and then the other two necklaces that I'm going to be taking with me. This one is this tiny beaded one. It's so beautiful. It's really nice, dainty, delicate, just a simple piece, and I love simple jewelry, so I'm bringing this one. And then the chain that I showed you in the beginning, this is the smaller version of that chain, and I'm also going to bring this one. Sometimes the larger chain, I'm wearing it right now, sometimes the larger chain can be a little bit too much depending on the top that I'm wearing, so I can switch into the smaller chain and that'll look really pretty. And then I have three pairs of Ana Luisa earrings that I'm bringing. I'm bringing this kind of twisted pair of hoops. I'm bringing these double hoops. I love these. 
And then I'm also bringing this pair that has this little green stone. And these are so pretty. Um, I'm just going to change these out, swap them out. And yeah, those are the jewelry pieces that I'm bringing. Ana Luisa is an amazing jewelry option if you're looking for something a little bit more sustainable. And also they have prices ranging from $39 upwards. So there is something for everyone. You can kind of find something in your price range. These pieces are amazing. They are so high quality. I've had my Ana Luisa pieces for a while now and they are just amazing. I never have any issues with them. I've never had a piece break on me. I've never had a piece tarnish on me. They are just so out of this world high quality and I adore them. If you are interested in any of these pieces or any of the pieces on the Ana Luisa website, use the code CHESSY10 off of your purchase at checkout for 10% off. So other things that are going in this bag are some of my daily vitamins. I definitely wanna be good about taking my vitamins on this trip just so I can stay regular, stay healthy, healthy. I also have my wallet in this bag. I have my birth control in this bag. I have a tiny native deodorant. My car keys, which I actually think I'm going to leave for Justin. Mask. I need to put another mask in there. I have some eye drops. I have my little camera battery charger. I have a little lip product from Milk Makeup. That's all that I have in this bag right now. I might put more things in it later. This is my super duper cute little tiny away suitcase. It's honestly not that spacious in here, but it's super cute and it does protect everything that's in it. This is kind of like my toiletry bag. I have these little toothpaste tablets from Hello. And then I'm also bringing my Urban Skin RX uh, cleansing bar. I have not used this yet. Kind of risky to take a product that I've not used before on a trip, but I don't know, my skin, it, I'm not gonna jinx myself here, but I'm confident that this will be pretty good. And I did like the idea of traveling with a solid and not a liquid. So hopefully that's all good. I also have this tiny get it on body wash from Plant Apothecary. This just came in a set with a couple of other body washes that I take while I'm traveling. I have this tiny little mineral sunscreen, SPF 50. I have this Briogeo dry shampoo, a little sample. I have this Mario Badescu super peptide serum that keeps my skin super clear. I have this DHC deep cleansing oil for my double cleanse at the end of the night. I also have a little thing of contact solution. And then in this little pocket over here, I have my contact case. I have a little hair tie. I have extra contacts in case I need. Then I also have some pore strips. My grandpa really likes pore strips and it's not something that he's gonna do on his own. So I'm bringing it with just in case he wants to do it on our trip. So zipping that all up. For my birthday, my sister got me this little case that sanitizes what's ever inside of it. So I'm keeping mainly my brushes in here and just like tools. I have my little nail file in case I need to file a nail. The worst is when you're out and about and your nail has chipped and you cannot file it. That is the worst. Then I packed a couple of other little lip products in here um, just to keep them. Another little lip product. I have a brow gel. I have my brow product in here. So yeah, just keeping some of these smaller items in here and then also my makeup brushes. In this bag are my hair things. I have my Curlsmith styling products and then I have my Evolve shampoo and conditioner. They were the perfect size for traveling, so I packed them. And then also my Evolve little leave-in conditioner spray. That'll be good for reviving my curls and you know, stuff like that. And then lastly, my little makeup bag. I used to have an abundance of great little bags to pack my makeup in, but this was the only one that I had and it's not my favorite. Like I don't love the shape of it, but it is what it is. And I tried not to overpack my makeup. Like see, it's not really even that full, but first is some SPF that I'm taking with me. I'm taking the Kula Makeup Setting Sunscreen Spray. And then I'm also taking my Coco Kind Daily SPF. I should have had you guys up this close the whole time, my bad. But I'm definitely bringing the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint with me. I love the size of this for traveling. It's so tiny. And this product is also just like a real big favorite of mine as of right now. And I'm also taking the small sizes of the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I have the matte version and then the regular version. They're definitely different colors. This one is medium tan. 
but I don't know what this one is. I'm assuming maybe medium, but if I need to mix them, I will, and these are just great SPF. Another little mini that I'm bringing is my Clinique High Impact Mascara. Also, I have a little travel size of the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray, which is essentially the same thing as the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm packing this with me because it's nice and small. This is the perfect little traveling eyeshadow palette. When I open this, you guys are going to be like, oh my god, I need that. <gasps> How adorable. It's from Lorac. It's their mini pro palette. It's their simmering mini pro palette. It has three matte shades at the top and then three shimmer shades in the bottom. And then this shimmer shade in the middle is kind of like a metallic. So it's perfect. It's gorgeous. Definitely bringing that and then my other eyeshadow option is this little Kaja bento stack in orange blossom I felt like my other two Kaja stacks were kind of too similar to this Lorac palette And I wanted something that was going to be a little bit different to add some versatility to my bag I have options for powder and cream cheek products. I'm bringing my Clinique cheek pop and fig pop my favorite shade of all time so i'm bringing this guy it's also not too big and then i'm also bringing my becca bronzer and bronze bondi for my cream products i'm bringing my fenty beauty cream blush in the shade rose latte it's also nice and small so i liked the idea of that and then also the fenty beauty skin tint works really really well with the blush so i know i'll have no problems with that and then i'm also packing my oma beauty contour stick it has a contour shade on one end and then also a highlighter shade on the other. I have a couple of lip products and then I did have some more lip products in here if you remember, but I'm bringing this Mario by Mario lip gloss in the shade Golden Nude. And then I also wanted to bring a matte lip, but like a comfortable matte lip. So I'm bringing the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Cream in the shade Fearless. And I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of that, especially because I plan on wearing a mask like the whole time in the casino so i'm glad i'll have a matte lip option and then another little mini that i'm bringing is this laura mercier little mini uh translucent setting powder i don't have a ton of experience with the setting powder but it's very popular and i know that it'll work fine and i like that it's small but i also have this tiny awake lip balm that i'm bringing i'm also bringing my urban decay primer potion i'm bringing this mini milk makeup hydro grip primer i'm also bringing this lip liner from bare minerals in on point and then i also have this little milk makeup mirror that i'm bringing yeah i could totally fit my other pair of jeans right here should i do it right here is where i'm gonna put my soothies i actually just washed my soothies like hand washed them in the sink just now they're totally like plastic i don't know what material they are but they can get wet and i wash them so that i can comfortably put them in this pouch right next to my underwear i put in a laundry bag my underwear and my bras and then here are my little cotton rounds and face halos but yeah, I think I'm essentially done. Okay, so I actually ended up using this bag. I know, I know. But I think it's gonna work out totally fine. Um, also, my soothies did not fit in this little compartment, so I ended up putting a white little hoodie in here. And then I put my soothies in here, which I don't mind because I just washed them, like I said, so they're not dirty or anything. Um, and yeah, I'll just probably put like a little grocery bag or something in there so that I can travel with them on the way back in here. But the only things I'm really keeping in this bag are my brown bag that I'm going to be like actually treating as my purse. I have this other little compartment that has glasses and then some chargers in it. And then I have my iPad in there. But other than that, there's not really anything else. The only other thing I'm adding in here is my laptop, which is why I'm taking this bag. Unfortunately, I do have to pack my laptop. I just didn't get all the things I needed to get done before this trip. So yeah, unfortunately, I do have to pack it, but I will pack it in a little bit. So we're about to leave for the airport. I wanted to show you guys my airport outfit before we head out so i'm wearing my jeans i was talking about earlier those levi's that i got from goodwill i'm also wearing my air forces that i just got from poshmark and then just a really basic t-shirt it's really comfortable it says be kind on the back of it and then just have this like old brandy melville belt and then 
my Wilma, who's not coming with me, but I'll miss her so much. And then I'm just going to hold on to this sweater. I wear sweaters at all year round. And this one is just like a little cardigan sweater that I'll have, um, hey Justin, that I'll have with me. And I didn't pack it or anything just because I didn't want it to take up room in my suitcase. So I'll be like wearing it on the plane, but yeah. It's my little outfit of the day. Justin's gonna bring my um, luggage out to the car. Um, Thanks so much. So <laughs> I'm going to end the vlog here though. I just switch over onto my phone because my vlog camera died. I don't, I don't know why I didn't plan for that. But yeah, I'm ending the vlog here. Definitely make sure you are following me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am going to be obviously posting like pictures and you know, little things on my Instagram. But also I plan on vlogging my whole trip so definitely make sure you're subscribed so you can catch the trip vlog again we're going to dc and atlantic city but yeah that is going to be it for today's video thank you so much anna luisa for sponsoring today's video again you guys check out the links down below and use the code chessy 10 if you want 10 percent off of your anna luisa jewelry but that is going to be it for me today thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't already subscribed definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully i see you next time